Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am so sporadic on putting videos up here and it's not that I'm not filming them because I have, I just editing them is, yeah. But I am just trying to share my weight loss journey and do I really suffer from this perfectionism trap? If I am not being perfect with my food all the time, I'm not sharing or if I am just repeating my food because I do eat a lot of the same foods all the time, I'm not sharing because who wants to see that I've eaten overnight oats again? And I'm, I keep telling myself, it doesn't matter. If people are bored at seeing that on my Instagram or whatever, that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> But it's really hard but i have been trying to do a couple of reels just need to find the flow of sharing this journey because when i'm sharing my journey it really helps to encourage me anyway food i have so far so my goal for q1 was to lose 14 pounds i haven't lost 14 pounds because i have had ups and downs and so basically that would have worked out about a pound a week and i've not lost a pound a week through this first quarter of the year. So I've been doing this 100 day challenge where I want to form six habits and I've been trying to do them every day for 100 days. Six habits, 100 days. Only two of them really relate to this channel and that's the food and the exercise. The others are reading, writing, purposeful social media, journaling. Uh, but, and they relate to other areas of my life. But the food and the exercise relate to this channel. And so with the food, what I've been wanting to do is to eat whole foods, plant-based, to cut the processed foods out, the foods that don't make me feel good, the breads and all that. The exercise is just to get my body moving because I'm a writer. I live a sedentary life, so I just need to get moving. And exercise is good for mental health and it is literally just walking. But I've been struggling a lot with the food. And this is because I have stuff just going on in my life. We've had a family member in hospital. We had, you know, a friend of ours pass away. We just had stuff going on. We had a disaster a couple of days ago. I've had this stuff going on. I am a writer, so I'm on a book deadline. So I've been working hard on that. And one of the things I am finding is sleep has a big influence on my food so i am someone who naturally sleeps about six to seven hours so i am one of these people that if i go to bed at nine o'clock and i have till 9 a.m to sleep i will naturally wake up around the seven hour mark and i am wide awake what i find is if i get less than those seven hours if i get five hours or something like that i am tired and then i make crap decisions for the rest of the day this is in everything food scrolling social media working it all falls apart sleep seems to be my number one factor if i can get to bed at the right time so i can get at least seven hours of sleep my next day goes as perfect as it can apart from when disasters happen but you know if, if my day is a good day i can inside it feels better and i make better food choices if i get less than seven hours my food choices are rubbish and it gets into this like craving for and it's not me craving anything i can't even really explain it's like an emotional eating when i am tired i it's as if i'm trying to soothe something with food like so, and i don't even know what i'm trying to soothe because i'm not upset about anything it's just like i'm like eat 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 and um when you're in that mode you're not reaching for broccoli and stuff like that you oh i mean i'm not i wish i was I am reaching for crackers, bread, toast, chocolate, ice cream, all this really junk food. And I don't know if it's just me craving the stuff that's got a higher amount of fat in it because my body's tired and trying to fuel it. I don't even know what it is. I'm not even hungry. It's just like this constant putting food in my mouth. But it is definitely when I'm tired. It's also when I've got stuff going on, but it's more when I'm tired. I don't know if it's that when I'm awake, I have a defense mechanism against this kind of emotional eating because it literally is like I'm trying to, I've got this hole here and I'm just trying to pack all this food in it. But it's, but the it's not a hunger hole it's just another it's a weird thing so i don't know what that is so what i've decided to do is i'm going to journal about my food because i love notebooks and i love journal and not necessarily like a food diary but just trying to unpack what's going on in my head with regards to what i'm eating and what these choices are and what it is i'm trying to soothe with this because like the other day so i have been reading um power foods by neil barnard and he was talking about how fat affects our body and slows our metabolism down kind of and it was with this i'm like do you know what i'm gonna get butter out of our house we have 
plant-based butters but they're just rubbish I don't need to eat it and because I love crackers with butter on them and I will eat like a lot of crackers like half a package of crackers and while the crackers themselves aren't really high calorie high fat when you're smothering them with the butter they're yeah they are so I'm like right I'm gonna get rid of the butter in our house it's not good for anybody um we have jams and spreads and all that lot and I said to her well I'm not buying butter anymore if you want butter you have to buy it yourself um, and nobody has and it's been good and I thought that would solve my cracker problem but no because we have uh, I'm English obviously we have this thing called salad cream so so if you're in England you'll know what it is but if you're not I'm not sure if you will it's like it's not like a mayonnaise it's like a creamy salad dressing I, it's tangy but I can't even describe it. it's just nice I have been finding that I've been putting that on crackers and eating those and I'm like no what is this what is going on why am I reaching for these and not going off and cooking a proper meal what is it like I'm obviously and sometimes it is because I'm hungry that I'm just eating these and yesterday day before yesterday I was like no you are actually hungry because you could eat anything not reaching for the crackers so I got myself a bunch of grapes and ate those because I love grapes and they're like a sweet treat and made myself make a mushroom risotto because I'm like right what's your favorite really good food I'm like I love mushrooms I love rice so I made myself a mushroom risotto and ate it and did not eat the crackers and this is what I'm talking about the tiredness I was able to do that because I wasn't tired I could catch myself so I want to go into journaling about this just eating rubbish that I don't want to eat and try and unpick what's happening and see if I can figure out what's going on in my head and brain that keeps like sabotaging myself as to where I want to be because that's what I am doing I'm sabotaging myself I want to eat this whole foods plant-based way and it feels really good when I do but it, it's like in the evening this monster comes out and goes ha ha let's ruin this and it does and it wins and I'm like I don't know where it's coming from so yeah I'm gonna try and figure that out yeah as for the weight loss itself it's not I've not been eating to the point that I am gaining any weight so that's really good i've been conscious enough that i'm not falling all out into the junk food like the actual processed food i've managed to i would say i've managed to not eat but i'm not even trying not to eat it one of the good things is i read ultra processed people which was really good at educating me as to what's in this processed food and why i don't want to eat this stuff and i've not I know crackers and butter and that lot is processed junk food, but when I'm talking processed junk food, what I'm on about is these mock burgers, mock sausages, vegan junk food, pizzas, all that other crap. Because I have read this book and internalised it, it's really turned me off the food, like I don't even crave them. You could put a vegan pizza in front of me, but yeah, whatever. Not interested. And I am so good, so happy with that. I'd really recommend this book to you because it was really good for informing of what is in these foods because they're not natural foods I can't remember what the saying is it's like they're products made to taste like food I think it was something like that and it was so good to remember that and so when I see all this stuff in the supermarkets like they have battered no pork sausage they have no pork sausage roll they're just like I'm not even craving them so that's been really good but my problem is bread and crackers so I have to solve that so that's been a really good update I am definitely a person who the more informed I am the better I can make decisions I was debating on rereading the starch solution I'd read it ages ago but I couldn't probably tell you much about it now so I might go back and read that but I am just reading Neil Barnard's book power food diet i think it is and he's talking about power foods basically how i can't i'll probably completely mess up what he's talking about but things like blueberries activate our metabolism on a better level whereas fat slows down or doesn't activate it and how these effects carry on through the day and how we can set ourselves up by even if we didn't change our diet but adding things like half a cup of blueberries and some melon would actually make us naturally lose weight because the compounds in these foods activate metabolism and help us to burn calories better like i say i'm, I'm probably completely ruining this it's um i've not finished the book it's been really interesting so that's probably going to help me even more yeah but as for weight loss like i said my goal so i've split it into quarters i want to lose i think it's like 56 pounds basically it's four stone and i'm like so that's a stone per quarter which basically works out a pound a week which is a nice healthy weight loss don't beat myself up if I don't do it but the goal is 
a pound a week. So we're coming up, to, we're like on the 31st of March, 30th of March. So we're at the end of the first quarter of the year. So today I should have been at a 14 pound weight loss, 13 pounds at least a stone. I'm not. I am at a seven and a half pound weight loss, which is great because it's, it's half of what I was after, but it's still a weight loss. And when I've been checking in and weighing every week, I've either on the weeks that I've not done as well as one i've like not moved on the scale or only lost a half a pound but it's still going in the right direction it's not going up so that's good and i definitely think it's because i'm just not interested in the processed food but i just need to get my brain into cooking properly because i love to cook sleeping better it sets me up so much better and not just binging on crackers and bread for no reason because yeah so that's my update as to where i am as for filming i think i just have to accept that i am completely sporadic with this and we'll just pop on with thoughts and my journey and this video is a little bit of a ramble and an update as to where i am and wherever you are in your weight loss journey i hope some way this stuff is helping you i need to share better on my social media because I know that helps me inside especially when I get engagement so yeah but that's it that's my quarter one update seven and a half pounds lost need to figure out this emotional eating problem but yeah anyway I'm gonna get off and go and get some breakfast so I will say bye for now